So we've spent most of the show so far looking at the outside of caravans, but have you ever wondered what's going on beneath it? Well, if you own a UK-built caravan, 98% of them will feature something pretty much like this underneath. Paul, can you tell me a little bit more about what this is we're looking at? Yeah, this is a, a standard one-piece construction chassis. Um, I say one-piece, it's the side rails that are, that are one-piece. They're then joined together with the axles uh, itself. If it's a single axle or a tandem axle, um, they all join everything together to bring in the, uh, in the strength. So it starts at this front, front end here where you've got the, the hitch. Uh, this is a, a standard AKS 3004 stabiliser has been developed for a number of years and is designed to help with instability, slight cases of pitching and so yawing. So when it starts to sway, uh, it just helps to, to, to bring the caravan back under control and just make sure that the people driving the car don't feel too uh, affected by too much sway. Right. And what's this uh, piece stretching so, down here? This is the brake rod that, that links the, 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 the front end of the overrun braking device to the, to the, the actual uh, axles itself. And the, then you've got the Bowden cables at the far end that just link in with the, uh, with the wheel brakes. Uh, so when, when the caravan feels as though the car is, is slowing down, the overrun compresses, uh, it pulls on the, the, the brake rod, which in turn pulls the Bowden cables on, applying the road brakes on the, on the caravan. And that's the traditional braking method for caravans. Traditional, but yep. I see we've got something, uh, something else here. What's, yep. what's that? This, this, is, this is the ATC system. It's an anti-snaking device for caravans. It's a bit like electronic braking on a, on a caravan. Right. So again, when the caravan is driving down the road, it might be uh, hit from, from the side by, by a high wind, um, could get caught in a bow wave by an HGV or a coach. Or it could be that it's just driving too fast and the caravan is just becoming a little bit unstable. ATC picks upon the, 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 that movement of the caravan, waits until it's, I wouldn't say dangerous, but waits until it's, it's significantly uh, picked up and then applies the brakes on the caravan just to slow everything down, just to bring the caravan back under control and allows the journey to carry on nice and easily. Well, you've heard the theory, now let's see it in practice. We've got a miniature version of an Alco ATC stability system right here on this model. So let's imagine we're driving along quite happily up the motorway at a safe and legal speed. Maybe I've got a bit enthusiastic or the wind started to blow and it's getting a bit out of shape. And then the system applies the brakes, then releases them once we're back in line and safe again. While we're on the Alco stand, I thought we'd come and take a look at this. It's the new premium braking system. Now, as far as I know, only Luna are currently fitting this as standard, but I think you can expect to see it on plenty of models very soon because it's simple but highly effective. It automatically adjusts the brakes for you, so you haven't got to take the wheel off and jack the van up in order to tighten up those shoes against the drums. What happens is, as it detects that there's pad wear in here, this neat little mechanism rotates this dial here and pushes the shoes back out against the drum. Simple, but very clever.